The book is an examination of the relationship between African American religion and African American politics. Uh, it's a historical approach, which is to say that I span the entire 20th century. Um, looking at the enormous diversity among African Americans as reflected in their religious beliefs and especially around the question of politics. I think one of the most contemporary examples and is actually something I write about at the very end of the book as I was finishing the book in the heat of the presidential campaign. So the conflict that emerged between Senator Obama and Reverend Wright was actually to me part of a much larger and longer story. In a certain way that the visions that we see between Obama and Wright really represent a shift in African American politics where the two roles, one the black elected politician and the other a very powerful religious leader uh, were in conflict rather than embodied in one person. And so I think those of us who are in the post-civil rights generation, we just assume a certain kind of connectedness and a powerfulness from black churches because of our memories of the civil rights movement and the enormous role the churches played there and religious leaders. Uh, but we forget what a small minority of black religious leaders and what a small minority of black churches were actually uh, engaged in that fight. One of the, the real consequences of the Voting Rights Act and the opening up of the vote to African Americans is the enormous uh, increase in numbers of black elected officials. Uh, and because there are so many of them, uh, African American ministers who had dominated, certainly in the Reconstruction period and in other eras, had, had dominated uh, black political life, no longer in that position. So, you know, as a point of fact, there are fewer and fewer black elected officials who are also uh, ordained ministers. But it's written in a very accessible style, I think, uh, and it's intended for a general lay uh, lead, uh, readership. I think it'll be interesting to students of African American history and of African American religion, American religion in general. So much of African American culture, whether it's popular culture or um, political activism, is influenced by, um, by black churches and black religious culture that I think some things will begin to make more sense after having, after having read this book.